Good morning, Lily Valley High School. I'm Dan. And I'm Vinny. Today's Friday, November 6th, and a cycle day two on your schedule. Today is also National Nachos Day and National Saxophone Day. Please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Today's grab-and-go lunch is assorted pizza, garden salad, baby carrots, fresh fruit, and goldfish. The word of the day is accident, an unforeseen and unplanned event or circumstance. Accident. Attention students, you can virtually meet with admissions representatives from Moravian College at 2 o'clock p.m. today, Friday, November 6th. To sign up to attend this virtual college meeting, please message Mrs. Shearer on Schoology, email her, or stop by the guidance office. Attention students interested in applying to the BCTC on Wednesday, November 11th from 5.30 to 7.30, BCTC will be having a virtual open house uh, via Zoom. The link and Zoom information will be posted on the Burke's Career and Technology Center website on November 11th. During this virtual open house, you can tour programs and meet instructors who will answer any questions you may have. BCTC has a new online application. The application is on the Burke's Career and Technology Center's website under Quick Links, applying to BCTC. Open the link, select Oli, and complete your application. You will need your phone number, guardian's phone number, and email information ready. You cannot save the information and return to the application. The application has four steps. Please complete all four steps in the application pro process and see your guidance counselor before de December 15th. Now over to the sports report, but first let's take a look at the weather. Welcome to the Lynx Broadcast Network Sports Report. Attention sports fans, please don't forget that face masks or coverings are required if you are spectating any Ole Valley sporting events. This weekend, the field hockey team will play in the District 3 semifinals at home, at home against Greenwood at 2 o'clock p.m. In accordance with Ole Valley's spectator restrictions, each team will have 100 ticket vouchers to, dis to, to, to distribute to family members. 50 walk-up tickets will be sold on a first-come, first-served basis. Ticket sales will begin at 1 o'clock p.m. All District 3 tickets are $6, and all spectators are asked to social distance from other spectators and wear a face mask or covering at all times. The game will also be streamed live on the NFHS network. The boys' soccer team is the third seed in the District 3 tournament and will open play in the semifinals this weekend at Greenwood on Saturday at 6 o'clock p.m. Only the District, the District 3 champion will advance to the PIAA tournament this year. The Lynx are looking for the first D3 championship since 1993. Good luck, boys. Today's Snapple Cap fact is number 257 in the series and states that the first food eaten in space by a U.S. astronaut was applesauce. This concludes this morning's announcements. For the Lynx Broadcast Network, I'm Dan. And I'm Vinny. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.